Welcome back guys to kick off the hair growth and bikini body challenge. I thought I'd come at you with some smoothie recipes. And now listen, the last thing in line for nutrition as far as your body goes is your hair and your nails. Everything else gets taken care of first. So you really have to make sure your nutrition is on point before your hair is actually going to be affected. Your hair is literally a record of what you've been putting into that temple of yours. It's going to show in your hair. Before we get into all that good stuff, remember I've got a giveaway going on over on my Instagram in collaboration with Lancome. All you have to do is head over there now, follow my Instagram and comment below this clip on the gram and tag a friend. That is it for your chance to win three Lancome shades from their newest range. Okay, that said, let's get into it. Now with this particular recipe, Recipe, I saw the most improvement in my nails and hair straight off the bat. So I touched on this in my nutrition and hair growth video, but just to kind of summarize, you need protein, zinc, magnesium, fatty acids, vitamin C, D, and E to really bolster your hair growth. So you're gonna need a large banana or two medium sized ones and probably about a cup or cup and a half of oats and then chia seeds. These are very filling and they're full of amino acids, like 60% amino acids. Then I go in with peanut butter and honey. And what these nutrients do is actually nourish the follicle and prevent hair loss. Flaxseed is so rich in vitamin E. And then normally I use raw cacao, but I only had hot chocolate today. I use an organic one. And then I go in with my almond and coconut milk and I blend it all together. Now you may or may not know this, but coconut milk's actually got something called lauric acid in it, which is highly nutritious. The only other source that I can think of is breast milk. So it's really, really nutritious. And all this stuff really does promote metabolism of of the amino acids and the enzymes involved in hair growth. So really, really good stuff. And as I say, I really noticed a massive difference, like literally within 10 days or a week of using this, um, I actually noticed that my nails were growing in really quickly. And that of course fed up into my hair as well. Also, did I mention that this kind of reminds me of the taste of like a Snickers shake? It's got, it's the peanuts plus the chocolate on my days, like literally, life like I love it. This smoothie is of course excellent for weight loss. The chia seeds in there actually soak up water and expand and can leave you fuller for longer. Of course you've got the oats in there as well which makes it really substantial. It's high in protein and the fact that it's low in things like gluten and dairy means that you're not going to bloat etc. So this is fantastic for if you're on a weight loss journey and trying to get that bikini body right girl. Yes. I see you babe. I see you. So again, this is a nutritionally dense smoothie. I call it the Mad Mango, and it has got lots of antioxidants, etc., which really stimulate the follicles of the hair again. But it's great because it has sugar enough to keep you going when you're working out. I add my mango, my pineapple, and then I go in with my chia seeds, and then spirulina. You want to build up the amount of spirulina because some people find it has a slight taste, but it is so potent. It's rich in amino no acids it's like literally 60% protein and then I go in with my almond powder I get this from the shop already milled and of course that is really really high in protein and vitamin E and then I go in with my flaxseed again with vitamin E and omega-3 this is going to give you really really shiny hair but aside from that as far as your general nutrition it's great for joints etc spinach of course has got your iron and your magnesium again really really critical for general metabolism and also for hair growth. Here I am just adding all the ingredients. As I say, you might want to work your way up in the amount. Um, at the moment, I put in about a teaspoon of spirulina in when I'm making my own smoothie. I started with half a teaspoon. I'm aiming to get to three teaspoons just because it is so, so good. And uh, again, I really do notice the difference. And I think chia seeds has also been a very critical ingredient um, in helping me to grow out my nails and my hair and that's what it looks like. Again, you can get that from any good health food store. 
With this particular drink, after I've added all the ingredients, I, instead of adding my almond milk, which I normally do, I actually add in juice and then I add in water just to top it up. And then again, I blitz it. I was actually making this one for my little girl and the rest of my family and I was going to have the banana one on this day. So I added a bit less spirulina. But how gorgeous is that green? It's so good for you. And you know, you can think about adding other greens as well. Like kale goes really well. Avocado is amazing as far as hair growth. That's something else that I add into my smoothies. And that really, really does help my hair to grow out. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you found that video to be helpful. Remember, I have a detailed nutrition and hair growth video up on my channel already. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. And also check out my previous videos. I do makeup, I do hair care, I do fashion on my channel. And I'd really, really love to see you in my next video. So until next time, remember to grind and shine.